Right then. YouTube. Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is one of the first videos we filmed. It isn't perfect, but we're learning. The videos are going to get higher quality as we go along. So before the video starts, please like and subscribe and comment if there's anything you want to see from the channel or if there's any people that you want us to work with. Hi everyone, today we're with Kaz from Property by Kazzy. Um, yeah, he's invited us down to one of his, how many developments you got at the moment? Uh, so three at the moment. Three okay. at the moment. Picked yeah. up keys for? Two more, hopefully. Two more. Hopefully get one more over the line, just hoping. What's that, like seven properties potentially then? So, yeah, new, new like, developments? Yeah, so, so basically trying to work on a GDV over the next um, 18 to 24 months of about just shy of 8 million, hopefully. Wow. It's big, big, Shame, very man. big. And obviously just like me, Kazi was heavily involved in Rent to Rent. Um, yeah. You didn't start in Rent to Rent, but you know, you built up. I was, I was saying technically, I did start, but I started on Rent to Rent before it had a before, name. Yeah, yeah. It was just a case of helping people out. Yeah, help, like helping people and helping myself, but seeing yeah. that there's a mutual benefit that somebody had an asset that they're overseas and couldn't manage and wasn't being managed effectively, yeah. and me seeing the potential in said asset. This is one which it, there's sort of like two developments in one. To yeah, two potentially three. Um, so basically, this is kind of. Like I bought this one and, and like a lot of stuff debunking the myth that I hear a lot of the time that you can't find deals on Zupiter and right move. Yeah, yeah. This property here has probably been sitting online, I want to say six months plus, but potentially so a lot longer it, than the that. The way you saw it was... was yeah, was like it was just a case of the way it had been marketed, um, you know, meant that a lot of people overlooked it mm. and just saw it as that like, this is a... I think it was marketed at 600,000 for a four bedroom flat. Yeah. And in it, London, by the way, that's why. Yes. Yeah, because my stuff is like up north, 60 oh, okay, so, so when they hear that, people are thinking, yeah. he's chatting rubbish. Yeah, 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 but yeah, yeah, so it's expensive. It's a nice area. We're in SW16. Mm. Um, you're, not, you're near a lot of like shops and stuff. As I was driving past, you've got a little high street up there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So Streatham High Street's really nice. Like we're not far from as you get into sort of Clapham tooting around that way. Prices go even more crazy. To be fair, it's a good deal. Mm. Like I could be RRR and I could get 100% of my money out. But um, I think we've spoken about this briefly in the past when we spoke online, like my, my strategy effectively is about wealth creation at the yeah. moment. Like I'm not in wealth preservation mode. Yeah. I'm actually trying to build up my working capital to go and do bigger projects. You've, almost, you've got the, you know, you've got your, your income coming mm. in already. You don't necessarily need to Yeah, add like to my that. standard of living, if I, if I add more money to my income, all I'm gonna do is increase my expenses. Yeah. One thing that lockdown made me do is sort of actually formulate a plan. Mm. So I've got stuff specifically that I do that I'm working on income. So other businesses that like sort of cash flow a bit better. Yeah. But then from a development standpoint, when I talk about one to eight million over the last in the next, you know, 24 months, let's yeah. say, realistically, that's probably half of what I've done in my whole time I'm doing it. So I yeah. think I've become a lot more you've structured. Really, yeah, yeah, you've really turned up a bit. So GDV is like the gross development value as well. So what Kaz is saying is he, he's not going to be spending eight million pound on property. He, he may spend, you know, half of that, but or probably even even less than half of yeah. that. But Quite when the end value, when they've all been sold off, that's how much it should, should yeah, come Yeah, that's to, how right? much everything should be yeah. worth. So. And, so that's and huge numbers though, huge numbers. Yeah, no, it is, but I think... It's been a long time coming, would you say? Yeah, like, and I, I think a lot of it, like with my developments I've done in the past, I've been quite risk adverse. I haven't mm -hmm. taken massive risks. The, the upside of that is I haven't really taken any losses. Yeah. But I think now that I've learned, I've honed my craft and I feel a lot more confident, I've gone from saying I want to do one deal in 12 months to maybe doing four or five deals in 12 mm -hmm. months. Mm -hmm. uh, would this be the most that you've had going yeah, on Yeah, this would be like, this would be the busiest period for us. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of projects, so we're basically going to have free conversions, a new build, um, and then a straightforward refurb. Yeah. And then there's some other stuff that we've tagged on. So this one we call the lane, yeah. um, just because the road name. So we've got, basically it was bought as, it was bought as a flat, yeah. but the flat owned the freehold. Okay, so yeah. the ground floor has been sold in a long lease. Yeah. I've actually got the plans in the car. So we've got upstairs was being used as one flat, but when we checked the deeds, it had actually been converted to two flats yeah. years ago. Yeah, so effectively yeah. I could buy one, get one free upstairs. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have two flats, brand new two beds upstairs. And then we're actually approaching 
the leaseholders downstairs because we've drawn up provisional plans to get a third flat in the base basement. Yeah, so it ended up being it. four flats, one sold in the long lease and three that we would own. If cool. So we still do own the freehold, which means long term, if we sell everything mm -hmm. on 99 year leases and they come back to us in 10 years time and say, look, we want to extend the lease, yeah, that could yeah. be 20,000 at that time. We had an offer accepted at 550. 550. Got down valued, so we've renegotiated. Obviously, if you get a down valuation, yeah. always a really good time to reneg. It's quite you got a you got a down value on something which was priced at 600 and even at your... Because the thing is, what it's valued to me at, based on what I know I can do with it, yeah. isn't what the surveyor's looking at and isn't what sure. the agents and the vendor are looking at. So, yeah. Which is a great negoci negotiation point for you because yeah. You're, you're, you've seen something which maybe the, the valuer, even the vendor, um, no one and, can and, see that. And that's it. When people talk about finding deals mm. like on the platforms, it is all a case of like using your expertise, your experience yeah. to be able to see the value that other people have missed. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So then obviously, um, so you've 520, got down yeah, 520, what, 5, 30K, 30K down value. So it, no, it actually got value to four ninety, and we agreed. Oh, really? Value, yeah. Four ninety. When I come back, I thought you were thinking this is this is a great little put, little I, setting. There, I right? was, but at the same time, I was thinking don't, you know, I don't want to I don't want to lose the deal with yeah, it. So yeah, it's a yeah, balance yeah, of yeah. don't be greedy, but like but use it to your advantage. Because yeah, sometimes yeah. people say, well, listen, you know what? We we we've even had offers around that that. Yeah. That but that's the thing area. because it had sat on the market. I knew you got to understand your position. Yeah. If you're going up against something that you knew you were an open house with 20 people, you know you're not really in a position yeah. to negotiate because they can go back to Was 10 this other a, people. Was a state agency that you had a relationship with as well? So they knew you were um, serious? I knew the estate agency in terms of, I've worked with them in the past. Yeah. They're a big, like they've got a lot of London offices. Yeah. But in terms of the specific branch that I bought this off, no, I didn't have a relationship okay, with them. Yeah. So potentially, maybe not, but potentially they would have said to the vendor as well, like, listen, you're not going to get more of a serious buyer than... Yeah, that's it. I think it's even if you don't know the estate agent, mm. like it's how you present yourself. Yeah. So like, in even the if they don't ask for it, I'm like, look, here's my proof of funds. I've done this before. This is my exchange and completion terms. Yeah. This is what we want to do. And just make sure it's very black and white. Like yeah, there's yeah. nothing missing. Like I'm the owner. Here's my proof of ID. Here's like, you know, my certificate of incorporation yeah. to show I'm the slow, like the sole director. Well, well, it's funny because a property which I've just brought up north, um, small, small numbers compared to up here, but it was up for 60,000. Mm -hmm. I ended up buying it for 59,000, but someone put an offer for 61,000. Mm -hmm. And the way I presented my offer, with proof of funds, with the, my solicitor details, with you know everything just there, ready mm -hmm. for them to go. The actual vendor took my offer, which is two grand less, but it, up north, that's actually quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, no, um, it is, I mean. So two grand less, and that was purely because they, they just wanted it quickly done, and obviously I gave them exactly everything, so they didn't even have to go back, they just said, right, let's move on with them. Contact yeah, the no, that's it, and so you will get you that, that offer. And, and that's it, and you make, so that's, for example, I always tell people you make your money when you buy it and buy it mm. at the right price. Exactly, so that yeah. two grand means that even if you realize down the road, you know, half the, half it's got to be replastered, mm. you've already saved that from your yeah. purchase. Yeah, and I've renegotiated on my um, valuation as well because there's a bit of damn that come up. Yeah. Always renegotiate on that valuation. A good little tip there. So cool, right, lead us in. Yeah. Um, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> one for the bloopers. Yeah, one for the bloopers. Yeah, just to give you like brief, numbers on the first part so part one of this project yeah we're buying we bought for five hundred twenty thousand. stamp duty i believe i can't off the top of my head i can't remember quite like about 15 16 about fifteen thousand. um because of the way we bought it we decided to buy it on a bridge because it made yeah. it was the most efficient the level of works you wanted to do it was the most like appropriate product yeah 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 to buy it on so maybe sort of 30k worth of finance costs um in terms of works did you, did you bridge it 75 percent uh seven yes i think 70 percent but then because i paid um see my fees in advance yeah. and they give you the net yeah um i think i probably ended up at about a 63 percent net loan yeah, from the bridges yeah. Yeah, yeah i paid 12 months in advance but obviously if it only takes six months we'll get half of the yeah, fees you, back you draw down from it yeah yeah it's similar to what i've done on the i, I pay interest but i did 85 percent okay. online because it was more like a a light refer product which they do bridge yeah, to their yeah. product so that was quite okay like, obviously you're, yeah you're, yeah we're a bit a little, little, little bit more involved over yeah. it um and then we're hoping, you know, we've had agents come down provisionally and say each of the two upper units, probably around the 450. Wow. Um, so 900k Peach. GDV, yeah, for yeah. the... Wow. So yeah. that's 
and yeah. works probably just shy of 100 maybe. Well, yeah. So what's, what, what are you looking at for to take out of this? Three? About a qu quarter of a million. Quarter of a million. A quarter of a million profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to speak to the tiler actually today to see if we can restore these Victorian tiles because they'd be really nice just to keep as a feature. Outside, you've seen we've done the brick clean, repointing. So yeah. I always talk about curb appeal. Yeah. Particularly yeah. when I'm selling something, I want first impressions. I want you yeah. to turn up yeah. and be like, this looks like a house I want to live in. But this door's, I think, 40 inches. Like, you know, your typical door's it's like, very so like, nice, get all that glass replaced. Probably not going to go stained glass because they quoted me three and a half grand to replace this in stained glass. Yeah, what, to, to double, try and match up with yeah, that. Yeah, to match up with that. But we're just going to get it, you know, frosted, looking nice, yeah. bring this back. This used to have a partition that used to come out to like here. So it was a really story, yeah. boxy little space. We've opened it up. So now it looks like a proper entrance foyer. The riser cupboard will be done. Have nice like post boxes for everything. And then we've got the communal staircase going all the way up. And you've got a skylight at the top, which means you'll have natural light coming all, all the way light, through. Yeah. Like gone for the quartz worktops again. Um, nice kitchen, breakfast bar. Gonna have the overhead lights. And then this is the kitchen for upstairs actually, it's in situ already, so ready to go So this is gonna in. be like a kitchen, sort of diner, living room yeah. type space. Exactly that. So a lot of people now are buying with friends, yeah. buying with siblings. But the issue is if you're both, if me and you are both paying for the mortgage and we're going 50-50 and you're in a typical rooms. property, you both want to have like a good size yeah, room. Yeah, so this yeah. kind of ticks the boxes for those, um, you know, sibling purchases. Yeah, so it's, I mean, you see it like, and obviously I see like, you know, the big boys like the Barrett Homes, some of people like that starting to do stuff. So yeah. you could just see and emulate it and try and you know, try and do it better. So that's built in? Yes, yeah, so that's going to be a built-in wardrobe. We're going to have, are my lights on or they're not on yet? No, that's, that's the one. Oh, the other one. Oh, yes, yeah, so that's going to be a built-in wardrobe. Yeah, yeah, nice. The back to wall toilets, some is, nice is designer rest. It's quite nice. This? 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 Yeah. No, it's tiles. Oh, it's tiles. Yeah, yeah. Say, it looks... yeah, 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 no. It's ceiling I'd tiles. Say it looks like a real nice cladding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is like... Yeah, gone for a mixture. So, this, this is your build team as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. This is my build yeah, team yeah. at the DNS. So, yeah, the, the work's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. And then you try and do. Obviously, each product slightly different. Yeah, just try because it's interesting. You know, you like you get bored otherwise if everything's yeah. the same. Yeah. There you can see another built-in wardrobe here. Yeah. It's got the um, lights on a sensor as well, so it kind of gives it that walk-in wardrobe feel. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then here, obviously, someone just got space, a little niche, the it's chimney breast was as well. There. Exactly that. Yeah, nice, real nice, really impressive. Can't bother. Let me take you um, upstairs. We'll see flat three. Less progress, but again, hopefully you like the space up here as well. Yeah. Similar square footage up here? Or? Yeah, yeah, again, so same thing. All right, all right, everyone's working today, yeah, what's happening? Anyway, it's end, end of the last coming soon. Yeah, so this one, um, just got bedroom number one yeah. here. Um, not an ensuite bedroom. Yeah. Um, but then we squeeze through. Bedroom number two. Basically identical to the one you saw downstairs yeah, in the okay. shower room. So this one's your ensuite. En ensuite again, yeah, good size. Yeah. Um, up here, you can this see nice, yeah. we going to opened it all the way up yeah. to the yeah. roof, which means when we have a really nice hanging light I with the skylight, say, gonna it's like, going to be yeah, nice yeah, chandelier, nice, nice feature. Then you can see you retain the so skylight. Was, there, was um, that already in there? No, so we put no. the skylight in there, skylight in here as well, so you yeah. can see as well in terms of grandeur it's gonna oh, feel it's gonna amazing, really yeah. big yeah. like you think they really like take pictures of the communal area yeah, yeah. like in the state agents photos but i can imagine this will be something that will be oh, included sure. just because it looks really Pretty nice, nice. rob said what's <laughs> going on man mama? hey <laughs> hey 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 game game get this this the best talent in london find someone better that's my guy so yeah listen we're just working 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 um right now we are in again another open plan kitchen living room so yeah. kitchen is gonna you behind us. You can see all the first fix of the electric, second fix is done already, just face plates that need to go on. Yeah. It's gonna you round, have a breakfast bar, lights above it just like downstairs. Yeah, nice. Sofa will set back in That's here. TV. And then you've got the TV media center. Turn around and see that beauty. That Turn around. That's a Turn hell around. <laughs> can you you can imagine how this is gonna look over here? This is just so this is all you, this is what this is like your ideas. Your yeah, conditions. yeah, this is me. So it's gonna have lights across the top. You can see all the different angles with different yeah, niches. Yeah. 
it's all been plastered this, up. This stuff like this is, is, what, is what sells it to someone, you know? Stuff yeah, because like the mark. do that yourself. I think, I don't know how you found it where you're operating, mm. but for me, you know, you can't get away with your, you can't just turn up at B&Q and get a three piece bathroom suite, yeah, get the yeah. basic tiles in anymore mm. and expect your property to sell for what you want it. Yeah, like, yeah. It's a lot more competitive now. When you're selling, you, you have to, anything you put in extra materials or you go that extra mile, you do get it in the back end. But when you're letting, yeah, sometimes you, you might want to, yeah. You don't go as far. You're, you're probably going to be clad in rather than tiles, you know? Yeah, yeah I mean, you still got to understand like within any market, there's going to be a ceiling price. You know, I can't afford to spend 60, 70 pound per square meter, even with the prices over here, yeah. because it's just not justified. Yeah. But you just need to understand the market within that you're operating in, what your end user is going to inspect as well. Yeah, expect yeah. as well. And it's the same as, I mean, you're working with bigger money, but the the, the return that you're looking for is exactly the same as what you know you'd want out there. It just happens to be that 10 percent or 20, 30 percent just happens yeah. to be a quarter of a million, whereas that yeah. might be 25k. You know. Yeah, so yeah, it's no, it's like, all. It's all ratios. That's it's yeah. literally it's a percentage game. So my background. If you can afford to play in London, then you know you're gonna you're yeah. gonna reap the rewards. It's just one of those. But yeah, no, it is. It's literally a percentage game. I wouldn't be overly focused on the number because the number is also determined on what you put in. Yeah. The main focus should always be your return on investment exactly. for me yeah, yeah. because we've got a limited amount of capital. Yeah. So whatever capital you've got, you've got to look to maximise that and get the highest rate of return possible. Yeah. yeah. Rocker, we use. Yeah. You use that one, Rocker. I'm rubbish. I'm yeah. I'm, Instead of ROI. Okay, I'm rubbish with acronyms. Cash employees. Okay, okay, Just okay. Just talk today. That's brilliant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Acronyms. <laughs> yeah. Talk to you. So we've got freestanding shower with the niche cut out, radiator okay. over there, freestanding bath, back to wall toilet there, vanity unit, and a mirror up nice there. Mirror there. It's nice. You can Bye. see all the towels are cut already. Good to go. Yeah, I mean, like to yeah. see that. So, what are you saying? How long do you need to finish stuff over here? What do you mean? How long? Before floors are done, walls are done. When do you reckon? Uh, I think uh, two days from now. That's my guy. <laughs> Check out another one of um, Kaz's properties. Obviously, this is probably—is this your biggest one you got going at the moment? Um, like not in value-wise, but it's the most active. The other yeah. stuff, like you know, got a refurb going on, and the other stuff we're waiting for planning. Yeah, you can see it's a huge, it's a huge sort of development. What's going on here? Um, but just picked up the keys for two more. Yeah. Maybe we'll go. To, which one are we gonna? We're gonna go check out one. Or? Let's go to. Where should we go? Yeah, let's go to the one that's this basically guy, got planning. That's for. how much profit he's got. Where should we go? <laughs> we'll go to. I'll go to cool. one that's closer as well, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right. So we'll see you there.
Do you know how much people tell me, oh, let me come film something with you, yeah? yeah. And I'm like, oh, bro, like, like yeah, soon, 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 yeah, soon. Yeah, yeah. Well, why did I, why, it, why, but why did I do this? Why did I do this one? <laughs> no, but it's the picture, brother. You had some picture and video, yeah? And it looked like he was about to drop the <laughs> maddest rap tune of 2021. Wait, That's it. As well, this is Wait, I was dying. He had, it, he had the intro to the vid, like, to his profit video. He done the profit intro. He came in like this. He came out the car, so he had sunglasses. Like. <laughs> Yo.